Hello and welcome, I've picked up the latest news so you know the market trends and let's go to the cryptocurrency rates as of today, the 11th of January. Bitcoin is now at $17,413, that is 0.69% uh, higher comparing to the previous day and 3.3%. 38% higher comparing to the previous week. Ethereum is now $1,333, that is 0.05% lower comparing to the previous day and 6.37% higher comparing to the previous week. BNB is now um, $277 it's 0.81% higher comparing to the previous day and 8.57% higher comparing to the previous week. So having all this in mind, we can switch to the news. Wu token price soars over 35% and here's why. Um, the Twitter space for the Wu network ecosystem informed that 705 million Wu tokens have been burned as they complete the first step towards token improvement. And this accounts for approximately 24% of the total tokens in supply. Uh, earlier, it claimed that the network will work towards the betterment of the token, citing the reason of the crash of FTX and Terra Sisters in 2022 Wu network will be working to create an environment that will not be harshly impacted by the adverse market situation. And they decided to burn a total of 705 million Wu tokens. And uh, of course, there is one more thing uh, that actually bothers people, that is uh, crypto taxes and taxation, which is a hard thing to do. And I want to share with you one platform that will help you very much. It's called Cryptiony. Uh, it was created to help solve one of the most fundamental problems in the digital currency sector, tax filing. Cryptocurrency tax filing is highly complex because they, uh, there is and there has to be a guiding standard uh, governing this aspect of the industry. Um, now that thousands of cryptocurrency exchanges are on the market from which a growing number of crypto investors can choose, the burden of calculation cryptocurrency tax reports from these platforms is enormous. So Cryptiony solves this problem with its web-based crypto tax automation application for individuals and tax professionals. The platform is driven by a mission to provide simple cryptocurrency tax calculations, facilitating cheap and fast measures for beginners, professional traders and accountants using automation and encryption processes to simplify cryptocurrency tax compliance. All the transactions and assets in one place, complete and precise transaction information, trustworthy cryptocurrency tax report, and that's all uh, about Cryptiony. So, Cryptiony boasts a user-friendly interface suitable for crypto professionals and industries newbies alike. To take advantage of Cryptiony's, uh, Cryptiony's unrivaled cryptocurrency tax software, all the users must register on the platform with a valid email address, import and view their cryptocurrency transactions, and unload a tax report, all with ease and convenience encryption. Binance CEO outlines ambitions to grow headcount by up to 30% in 2023. Binance CEO Zhang Peng Zhao said the cryptocurrency exchange giant will continue to scale in 2023 with headcount growth goals of between 15 and 30%. The exchange group grew from 3,000 to 8,000 people in 2022. Um, uh, sounding that out at the conference in St. Moritz in Switzerland. Plans for the year ahead include improving technology and making the expensive crypto exchange operator more efficient, as well as investing in customer support. United Kingdom takes concrete steps to become global crypto hub in 2023. In April 2022, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, uh, Rishi Sunak, first stated the country's intention to turn 
the UK into a global hub for crypto asset technology and investment. Through um, uh, through that time, uh, there has been little progress towards this goal. Uh, the last few months of 2022 saw a gradual shift in the right direction. The financial services and markets bill received several digital asset related amendments in October 2022. And if this bill passes as expected, it will give FCA the authority to regulate stablecoins and other types of digital assets. And the autumn statement uh, released in mid-November 2022 demonstrated the new chancellor's commitment to supporting high growth tech sector. License hunting Crypto.com kills Tether for Canadian users. Crypto.com is in the process of delisting Tether for Canadian users, effective from the end of this month. A Crypto.com spokesperson says, this decision was made in accordance with instructions from the Ontario Securities Commission as part of uh, the pre-registration undertaking for a restricted dealer license. Crypto.com filed its pre-registration with the OSC at the beginning of August 2022. Crypto.com has endured a number of major setbacks of its own in recent month. In October last year, it was forced to cut around 40% of its staff, and the company was involved in a battle against insolvency triggered by weakness in its native Kronos token. And uh, on the 12th of December, the Canadian Securities Administrators issued an announcement to reiterate that Crypto exchanges in the country need to be registered with the securities regulators. It also reminded everybody that, in its opinion, stablecoins may constitute securities. Argentine crypto bill encourages citizens to disclose holdings. Argentines, uh, Argentina may soon be motivated to reveal uh, their crypto holding through tax incentives and Argentina's Minister of Economy, the economic policy manager of the country, has introduced a new crypto bill aimed at addressing money laundering and encourages its citizens to reveal their crypto holdings by incentivizing them with lower tax rates, according to local news reports. The externalization of Argentine savings Draft law is aimed at fighting money laundering and was introduced by the uh, economy minister. So, uh, requirement that holders of cryptocurrencies produce an affidavit identifying the whereabouts of their holdings to the Argentine government. Those who declare their holdings would benefit from, from tax uh, breaks. And those who voluntarily declare their holdings within 90 days of the law coming into effect would only be required to a 2.5% tax on capital gains of their holdings. The rate increases incrementally every 90 days until reaching 15%, which is Argentina's standard capital gains tax rate. Baby Dodge now accepted in physical stores via uh, this feature. So, brick and mortar stores, physical stores that customers can visit in person, can now accept Baby Dodge coin as payment thanks to Now Payments point of sale terminal. And Crypto Payment Gateway Now Payments provides a point of sale terminal tool that helps offline stores or brick and mortar stores to get paid in the Baby Dodge crypto without the need to purchase any special hardware. The Now Payments POS terminal can be deployed on any web enabled device, reducing the barriers to entry for businesses of all sizes. It also enables a crypto to fiat conversion features. Ship rival Flocky Inu's official website released, and the Flocky Inu Twitter handle spreads the word about launching its website that educates the community on the Flocky meme cryptocurrency and its ecosystem. Flocky Inu is a popular meme coin along with Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and Baby Dodge. So the website is a major advance in Flocky conquering the crypto uh, cryptocurrency space and aside from Flocky updates, news and etc, it offers information on Flocky merchandise, University of Flocky and NFT marketplace and collection of Flocky themed non-fungible tokens. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will be back with a new portion of news for you. So stay tuned. I like this video, like my page. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.